Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2013 Goldilocks Excel Awards program. Let's give all of our honorees a great round of applause. We thank you and your administrators and your teachers, and we thank your parents, for you have indeed done the kinds of things that we would expect of all of our young people. And so tonight, we want to encourage you, we want to honor you, and we want to encourage you to keep doing what you have been doing, even more so. The purpose of our Goldilocks Excel Awards program is to encourage you to, will, as I'm sure you will, complete fifth grade, go on to middle school, complete middle school, go on to high school, and graduate. And so we have great expectations for you. And we are sure that you will live up to those expectations. I need everyone to do this right here. Come on, I need the kids. Y'all gonna have to handle this out. I don't know if your parents will be able to keep up with it. All right, y'all got me. Here we go. One, two, three. Here we go. Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmony Of liberty Let our rejoicing rise High as the listening let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us facing the rising sun of a new day begun let us march on till victory is won thank you so much Ruben, Leo, Griffin, let's give him a round of applause, please. <laughs> Ruben is a Garland High School graduate. He's a former participant and gold medal winner for vocal classical in our Garland Expo program. And he's also a graduate of Southern University. We're very proud of him. <laughs> we now have a special video tribute uh, Goldie Locke was the founder of the Excel Awards program. She founded this program in the latter half of the 1990s. And as you listen to the video, you're going to learn something about Goldie, the type of person she was, and the contributions that she made. And so as you listen to this video, we want you to pick up on some characteristics that Goldie had that you would like to make a part of your lives.
I met Goldie Lott in the early 90s and slowly became friends with her. It was then I realized through our friendship what a dynamic leader and trailblazer she was. She is a civic leader who loves her city. She was also one of the first African Americans to ever run for public office in the city of Garland. The Negro National Anthem History is a song that describes and tells the story of our history as African Americans in the United States we call home. Goldie did not live to witness the historic history of this nation as it elected its first African American president, President Barack Obama. Yes, we have come far and as dream keepers like Goldie Lott, we will always need new dream keepers because the world continues to change every day. Will you be our next dream keepers? Goldie Lott is the founder of the Excel Award. She was a strong advocate for children in our school system. And this idea started almost 20 years ago. She wanted to change and recognize those students who were falling through the cracks, who were working hard, but could not quite make the grades. She challenged the school system and she gave birth to the Excel Awards. Some of our recipients have attended and graduated from colleges and universities with scholarships because of this program. After her death, the Garland Branch NAACP changed the name of this program to the Goldie Lot Excel Award. A room also located in downtown Garland across the street from City Hall is named in Goldie Lot's honor and it is called the Goldie Lot Community Meeting Room. May I encourage you to keep dreaming Make your dreams come true. Make your dreams a reality. We would now have words of encouragement for our fifth graders. Our speaker is Mr. Eric S. Gaines. He has a doctor of pharmacy degree. He is a registered pharmacist and he has a master of science degree in pharmacoeconomics. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Eric S. Gaines. Before me is a group of scholars that have worked hard to achieve high ideals. As I look out amongst all of you, what I see is the next Supreme Justice, the next Surgeon General, the next President of the United States. Anything that you want to achieve, you can. So what I'm going to talk to you tonight about is your future is what you make it. Speaking to the elementary students, the next step for you is the sixth grade, the start of something new, the start of something exciting. And with the achievement that you have garnered so far, I want you to use that as your launching board for middle school. Carry that momentum forward to high school and let it land you into college and hopefully even graduate school. Hard work is the way to move forward. The great part of the success that you have achieved so far is that you've achieved it with your family. You've achieved it with your friends, the support of good teachers, the support of good faculty, the support of community members who all love you and support your achievement. Don't get me wrong. Success is not always easy. There are some times where it may get difficult, but I want you to remember your dreams to move forward in that success. Don't worry about your setbacks. Don't worry about your obstacles. Keep dreaming, keep focusing. When it gets difficult, think about others who didn't achieve and how they kept pushing forth to finally make their mark. Remember, your future is whatever 
you make it. Thank you. We will now have words of encouragement for our middle school awardees, Mr. Sean Haskins, Assistant Principal, Garland High School. I am the second child of five. My mother was a single parent. Um, my mom worked, her shift to work was from 4 o'clock to 12 o'clock, Monday through Friday. And our relationship, and this is with all five children, we would get off the bus, she would have dinner cooked, she would hug us, put your homework on the table, she would get in her vehicle, she would go to work. 12 o'clock she would come home, check to make sure that homework was done, and if something was not done, you got woke up at 12 o'clock to do it. And uh, that was pretty much my mother. So I took the path as an athlete. You know, I dreamed big. I wanted to play in the NFL. If I didn't play in the NFL, I wanted to run track professionally and one day wear the red, blue, and white for the United States in the Olympics. That didn't happen, okay? I did get a scholarship to go to college. I did do that, and I persevered. Um, athletics was, a, was an avenue for me to go and continue my education. And I know a lot of y'all sitting here now, you may be very, very athletic, and you're just getting ready to go into high school, and that may be an avenue for you to go and further your education. Well, when I could not play football anymore, I had to go and get a job. And that job changed my life for forever because I had the privilege of becoming a juvenile correction officer for TYC at the time. It's been renamed now. But I became a juvenile correct, a JCO3 was my title. And I worked with young people from the ages of 12 up to 20, some 21. All ranges of offenses that they had committed, um, crimes that they had committed, and I don't know, something touched me at that point to where I didn't necessarily want to crunch any more numbers. There was something more important calling me. And I had this thought, if I could touch these young men or young people like this before a judge slapped a gavel and took time away from these young people, wow, what an amazing thing that would be. So that um, Atlanta, Georgia, was still calling me, come, come to this business world and do this, come do it. So I wasn't really sure. So I did pray. I prayed a lot, talked with my mom, things like that. Um, I finally accepted a job. I thought two years, I'll know what I'm going to do. I accepted a job with Salesmanship Club Youth Camp, and that's dealing with at-risk young men and women. Once I got a hold of those kids, I thought, wow, what if I was able to touch them before this? And so my wife was a teacher here in the district, and we got married. That's one stop in Atlanta, Georgia. We're not going any further. Got married. Wife was teaching here. And um, she said, why don't you teach? I said, I don't, I don't want to teach. I, I do not want to teach. No. I'm going to go to Bank of America. I'm going to go to Capital One. I'm going to go somewhere so I can make financial investments so we can be secure. I went and interviewed anyway. And due to my coaching background and my GPA and, other, and academic successes that I've had, I was offered a job at that time, Brandenburg Middle School. It is now the Classical Center of Brandenburg. And I taught there and coached there. And then I thought, I need some of those roughneck kids. I need them. They're calling me. And so I went and got certified in special education, and I became a BA teacher, and I worked in BA for six years. And then I met a guy who changed my whole philosophy about education, and I learned so much. That's William Woods. Uh, and I became an administrator. Now I'm an administrator. I've been at Garland High School for six years now. And as I talk with my college buddies that went on to become these financial investors and they have these big nice houses and always come to Austin and let's get on Lake Travis and things like that because they're talking about their investments. I had an opportunity not too long ago to say I'm making an investment in the young people in GISD 
that you will far exceed all the riches that you have. And those guys, I thought, I guess it was because we're getting a little older. They would have pointed a finger and laughed at me. But they sat and they thought, and we reflected on the times where we made fun of our friends who wanted to coach and get into education. The last 17 years of my life have been invested in the youth um, from around the way, the last 12 years of kids in Garland Independent School District. So I say to you as I close, I don't, told, I don't want to get boring, you know, okay? As I close, continue to move forward, push on. Congratulations on being here tonight, because if you're here, you're making a difference on your campus. Your teachers see it, your administrators see it, and more importantly, your parents are here tonight, and I bet they're so proud. Each year, we try to showcase talent from our Garland ISD in particular, and also winners of our AXO program. AXO is an acronym that stands for Afro-Academic Cultural Technological Scientific Olympics. And the program includes about 26 different categories. This evening, you will hear from three young people who won gold medals in the local competition this past weekend. Our first performer will be Malik Henderson. Malik is a student at Garland High School, and Malik competed in the category of vocal classical. Malik Henderson. Good evening. My name is Malik Henderson, and I will be singing Danza Danza Fantula Gentile by Francesco Durant. Danza, danza, fanciulla, al mio cantar. Danza, danza, fanciulla, gentile, al mio cantar. Giro leggero sottile al suono, al suono del monte del mar. Senti il vago rumore della rosa scherzosa che parla al cuore con languido suon, con languido suon. E che invita a danzar senza posa, senza posa. Vita danza, 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 fanciulla gentile, fanciulla gentile, al mio cantare, al mio cantare, danza, danza, al mio Our next performer is Sim Drain IV. Sim is an 11th grader at Lake Centennial High School, and he will be performing for you an original poem. Uh, I guess good evening. All right, um, I, will, I wrote this piece originally, uh, this Axel poem. The title of it is Struggle. I struggle. I can only speak for myself when I say that I struggle. I struggle at being an older brother, a friend, a humble follower of Christ. I struggle in school, in church, and at home. Like they say, the struggle is real. But for me, this isn't a cliche. It's become the way I feel. It's like Tony Romo with no lineman running out in the open field. Now that's a struggle. But don't get it twisted. God is my bridge over troubled waters. But the trials that I face aren't the waters. It's the wind. I got to find the needed shelter to keep my body from dropping in. Let's cut to the chase. I struggle because I have no humility. I constantly keep my ego on high to make sure that the ladies are feeling me. <laughs> but the arrogance doesn't stop there. They're growing proud of my thoughts. I truly believe that I deserve the Medal of Valor. 
after the battles that he has fought. The problems only get worse from there. I tend to boot God out of the equation, and then when I see my problems double, I can't seem to keep up with the multiplication. Now tell me that I don't struggle. But that's not the only struggle that I'm dealing with. You see, obedience is also my downfall. I just don't want to listen if I really ain't feeling it. I make a big fuss out of something small. Well, I guess you could say I'm missing the point like a broken pencil. There's really no reason to cause a riot. If in the end I'm going to be God's utensil, <laughs> then I need to put a muzzle on it and be quiet. My other struggle is that I'm, preach I'm afraid of preaching my stand. I'm afraid of how they'll see me. If the girls are backing it up and I catch it with open hands, then they definitely won't believe me. But that's why I have to make a stand. The world looks for my Christian faith to fall. Therefore, I can't supply the world's demand. That's just the logic of it all. And through the logic, I realized that the struggle has been slain. And in the past, I made the wrong decision. But now my frame of mind has changed. I've been through an intellectual collision. God gave me a blanket for my shivers. He knew his creation had messed up. And I thank God that his grace and mercy is an everlasting river. So I make sure I drink from it with my biggest cup. Christ brought me through the struggle. He made the challenges seem like play. And although I still have a little bit of trouble, his grace has allowed me to say, I have struggled. Thank you. Our next performer is Felicia Haggerty. She is a ninth grader at Garland High School, and she won a gold medal this past weekend in vocal contemporary. Felicia Haggerty. Somewhere out there, somewhere far away, I want you back. I want you back. My neighbors think I'm crazy, but they don't understand. You are all I had. You are all I had. At night, when the stars light. Talking to the moon, trying to get to you, and hopes you're on the other side, talking to me too, or am I a fool who sits alone, talking to the moon? Whoa. I'm feeling like I'm famous, talk of the town, they say up on that, yeah, up on that, but they don't know what I know, cause when the sun goes down, someone's talking back, yeah, they're talking back, whoa, whoa.
We're ready now for the best part of the program, young people. This is when you will receive a trophy and a very nice certificate. And so if you haven't already started keeping all your little awards that you get throughout your years, be sure you put your certificate that you're going to receive tonight, start keeping all of your awards in a notebook. So once you get to 12th grade, it's just a matter of looking back and seeing all the things that you've accomplished over the years. And when it's time for college applications, won't be a problem because you've collected all of your awards and all of your honors, and they're located in one place, in one notebook. So let me see, how many of you are gonna do that? All right, very good. How many of you have already started doing that? Good deal. Your parents can help you. Good evening. I'm Margaret Marshall, the assistant principal at Abbott Elementary, and we're very pleased to introduce you to our honorees this year, Marissa Jones and Xavier Wills. Good evening, I'm Raylan Scroggett and I'm the assistant principal from Armstrong Elementary and I am honored to represent two wonderful students this evening. I'd like to recognize Forrest Coleman and Jayla Brooks. Hi, I'm Teresa McCutcheon. I'm the principal at Back Elementary and I'm so proud to recognize our two Recipients, Tia Harvey and Davin Farlow. Okay, my name is Jana Prince. I'm the assistant principal at Beaver Technology Center for Math and Science. So proud to present uh, our recipients, Ezekiel Yosia and Amaya Taylor. I'm Roberto Diaz, I'm the assistant principal of Brackfield Elementary, and it is a great ple pleasure to present this award to Dalvin Edwards. And I'm Yomi Emden, the counselor, and I want to present this award to Adele Tag. Walker and Bullock Elementary is proud to honor Jaden Jones and Sheree Mitchell. Hello, good evening. My name is Zabdi Gonzalez, the principal at Caldwell, and we are very proud to uh, present this award to Mr. Patrick Wallace and Ms. Calandra Young. Good evening, I'm Wendy Williams, the principal at George Washington Carver Elementary, and we're very proud to present this award to our two Tigers, Jeremiah Moore and Terry Bell. Good evening, my name is Axel Cristales, proud principal of Center Elementary, and the Gold Glock Excel Awards go to Antonio Houston Moore in Diamond Hall. Good evening, I'm Spencer Hughes. I'm the assistant principal at Club Hill Elementary, and this is one of our fifth grade teachers, Mrs. Heather Metlock. We'd like to present the award to Christian Rector and Azare Reed. Good evening, I'm Dr. Darlene Cravens from Cooper Elementary, and I'm proud to uh, introduce my friend and teacher, Mrs. Kathy Holman. It gives me great pleasure to announce the awards for um, two of my wonderful fifth graders, Kennedy Brown 
and Anthony Azonier. Good evening, I'm Sarah Staley, the Assistant Principal at Couch Elementary School. And I'm Beth Barnard, fifth grade teacher. And it is our pleasure to, tonight to announce two students with this award who have been um, at Couch Elementary since kindergarten. And they are? Darius Garner, a Daisy Ahanatu. I'm Deborah Henson, principal of Darty Elementary, and I am proud to announce our Excel Award winners, Shapiria Coleman and Mackenzie Green. Good evening, I'm Tanya Jernigan from Davis Elementary, fifth grade teacher. Good evening, I'm Nancy Cantuna, Davis Elementary, fifth grade math teacher. And I'd like to honor Saran Fizahi. And I'd like to honor Devarie Williams. Good evening. I'm Deborah Wiley from Dorsey Elementary, and it is my honor to um, recognize two of our brightest shining stars. We have Danielle Curtis and Travion Hunter. Good evening. I'm Grayson Topazer. I'm the principal at Freeman Elementary. I'd like to congratulate Jaquez Parker and Vanity Carraway. I'm Lakeisha Culpepper, the assistant principal from Golden Meadows, and I'd like to congratulate Amari Taylor. Good evening, I'm Lloyd Jones, principal at Handley Elementary, and we want to congratulate Candace Sutton and Treve Fisher. My name is John Drummond, I'm the principal at Heather Glenn Elementary, and we are very proud to recognize our Excel Award winners, Garnett Burke and Caribia Prox. My name is Patrick Beecham. I'm the assistant principal at Hereford Elementary, and we want to congratulate Christian Williams and Kyra Powell. Good evening. I'm Deesa McEwen, the principal at Hickman Elementary, and tonight we're going to honor Jafari Powell and Seven Heard. Angela Stovall, I'm the assistant principal at Hillside Academy. The two students from Hillside Academy that are award recipients for the Excel Award are Mr. David Goriola and Miss Casey Garrett. Good evening, my name is Dr. Campbell and I'm principal at Keeley Elementary. And I'm proud to announce our winners from Keeley. We have Tyreek Landingham and Crystal Okiki. My name is Andrea Kleckner, and I'm the assistant principal at Kimberlin Academy. And I'm pleased to announce our award winners are Anthony Ayudin and Kayla Seals. Good evening, my name is Erin Valson, and I work at Liberty Grove Elementary where I teach these two lovely little children. And the, receiving the award today are J Jason Tatang and Chamaka Inawihe. Good evening, my name is Kathy Irby. I'm the assistant principal at Vernal Lister Elementary, and tonight we recognize Chelsea Pollard and Braden Williams.
Hi, I'm James Howard from Loon Elementary, and I'm blessed to have two amazing students, Robert Jones and Madison Trombo. Hello, my name is Andy Kaiser from Montclair Elementary, and it's my pleasure to introduce to you two great kids, Sabron Woods and Jasmine Peterson. Good evening, I'm Kathy Metzinger, principal at North Lake Elementary. And our students receiving this award are Inshallah Muhammad and Ezra Mrizah. Good evening. My name is Edwin Hood and I am the assistant principal at Park Crest Elementary and we'd like to honor Jacoby Thompson and Mia Hairston. Good evening. I'm Amber Corje from Nita Pearson Elementary and we'd like to honor Melvin Duo Jr. and Stephanie Forbins. Good evening, I am Jeanette O'Neill, Ruth Roach Elementary Principal, and I'm proud to announce that Ariana Harrington and Malik Murphy are the recipients of the award. Good evening, everyone. My name is Roger King, the Assistant Principal at Rowlett Elementary, and our recipients are Samaj Bell and Olivia Baker. I'm Harry Farley from Sewell Elementary, and we're proud to present Justice Hillman and Nadia Dees. Good evening. I'm Dr. Patty Trimmel, principal at Shorehaven Elementary. Hi, I'm Heather Ray, admin intern at Shorehaven Elementary. And we would like to congratulate C.J. Young and Desiree Dixon. Good evening, I'm Krista McClure, the assistant principal at Sugar Dale Elementary. Hi, I'm Latasha Stinnett, one of the fifth grade teachers at Sugar Dale Elementary. And we're honored to honor Dalen Fletcher and Asia Knox. Good evening. I'm Kristen Wolfkill, the assistant principal at Southgate, and Southgate is proud to honor Montobian Hammond and Sydney Waddleton. I'm Lacey Zachary, the assistant principal at Spring Creek Elementary, and we are proud to honor Taj Billings and Sean Trey Phillips. Good evening, my name is Cheryl Alexander. I'm the principal at Stedham Elementary, and we are very proud to honor this evening Andrea Marsh and Raymond Brown. Good evening, I'm Janae Haynes, assistant principal at Stevens Elementary, and we are honored to uh, recognize Yame Ephraim and Brianne Powell, congratulations. Good evening, my name is Patricia Tatum. I am the principal at Toller Elementary School, and I'm here with Ms. Carolyn Lee, one of our fifth grade teachers, and we are honored to recognize DeMonte Valentine and Jayla Carthren.
Good evening. I'm Charla Bracey, and I'm the assistant principal at the Classical Center at Vile, and I'm honored this evening to present these awards to Ja'Cory Ray and Ashanti Hunter. Good evening. My name is Alex Rivera, and I am the principal at Walnut Glen Academy for Excellence. I am honored to present to you Mercedes Gibson and Leon Williams. Good evening. I'm Debbie Sanders, assistant principal of Watson Math and Science Technology Center, and I am honored and privileged to award two of our Watson Wonders with this NAACP award, Timothy Green and Zoe Dillard. Good evening, I'm Dr. Leslie Russell. I'm the assistant principal at Weaver Elementary, and this is our fifth grade reading teacher, Julie Jolly. And we are so very proud of Micah Bates and Aaliyah Barber. Good job, Michael. I am Ellen Mooney, the principal at Williams Elementary, and I am honored tonight to present this award to Amari Samuel and to Galen McCowan. And now it's time for our middle school students. It's your time to come to the stage and receive your certificates and receive your trophies. That is a reward for your hard work and for your good behavior and doing all those things that you we want you to continue doing. Good evening, I'm Dr. Ann Poor, principal at Austin Academy, and we are very pleased and honored to recognize our Excel Award winners for 2013. Congratulations to Jaquarian Turner, Lauren Wiley, James Anderson, Jakaria Johnson, Adetali Adewuyi, and Bredne Henry. Come on up to this stage. Good evening. The award recipients for the Classical Center of Brandenburg Middle School are Tony Hicks, Nia Hamilton, Austin Clemens, Simone Hankins, Christopher Green, and Nyresha Odoms. You can make your way to the stage now, please. Good evening. I'm Mary Garcia, principal of Bussy Middle School. It is my pleasure to award the following Bussy Owlettes on behalf of our faculty and staff tonight. We're very proud of them. Christopher Calhoun, Naomi Thomas, LaQuavian Tubbs, Destiny Armstead, Anthony Tyson, and Trinity Heron. My name is Doug Miller. I'm principal at Coyle Middle School. It is my honor to name the Coyle Excel Award winners, Cameron Brigham, Sierra Young, Harrison Manuel, Sydney Owens, Christian Brown, and Kayla Akins. Good evening, my name is Kelly Garcia, Assistant Principal Sam Houston Middle School, and I'm proud to announce this year's Goldie Locker winners. Mason Willis, Lenitra Nix, Brandon Hill, Kennedy Borner, Jamil Wade, and Kashar Williams. Congratulations. Good evening, I'm Lakeisha Ryder Mitchell, Assistant Principal of Hudson Middle School. 
and we would like to congratulate our 2013 Goldilocks winners. Our, uh, our winners are Donovan Cannibal, <laughs> Zakoria Drahan, <laughs> Rajay Banks, Haley McNeil, Jordan Brown, and McKellen Clark. Good evening, I'm David Dunphy, Principal of Jackson Technology Center for Math and Science. And we are very proud of our Excel Award winners. And we also would like to thank parents for raising such fine young men and women. The Excel Award winners for Jackson are Emmanuel Ekachukwu, Jane Abenemy, Raven Bradley, Qu Quest Pittman, Landon McHenry, and Rachel DeGeffa. Good evening, my name is Darren Hemphill, principal at Lyles Middle School. On behalf of the parents, faculty, and staff of Lyles Middle School, we'd like to recognize our Excel Award winners. They are Elijah Wilson, Brianna Gaffright, Chizoroko Yugachi Nwata, Zanata Bagley, Terrell Stewart, and Serana Lee. Good evening. I'm John Tucci, Principal of O'Banion Middle School. It is with great pleasure that I am able to recognize our award winners this evening. Christopher Williams, Orion Smith, Chris DeAndre Spencer, Dontria Grissom, Kaylin Mayfield, and Jay Sharice White. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Tim Brown, and I'm one of the assistant principals at Schrader Middle School, and I am proud to present this year's award to the following students on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of our school. They are Anthony Franklin, Lexis Petway, Christopher Enwedo, Amaya Jackson, Michael Lenz, and Jaslyn Page. Congratulations to these students this year. Good evening. My name is Ralph Mills, the proud assistant principal, principal of Sellers University, and I am pleased to present our outstanding students LaGordian Brown, Zahara Jarvis, Janona McBride, Ariana Cox, Nicholas Ross, Adaria Felder. Good evening, my name is Jim Lewis from Webb Middle School, the principal, and I have Mr. Bassett, our assistant principal this evening, and we're very proud to uh, recognize our Webb Bears on this uh, uh, Excel Award tonight. Our sixth grade leaders are Akiri Namakong and Rita Chibuko. Our seventh grade recipients are Kendra Smith and Taylor Jones. They look nice tonight. And our eighth grade, Jalen Alexander and Liberty Shaw. <laughs> 